Welcome to the spoken tutorial on the importance of selenium. In this tutorial, we will learn about benefits of selenium in our body, symptoms of its deficiency, food sources of selenium. Selenium is a micronutrient found in most foods. It is an essential component of enzymes. Our body uses selenium to produce selenoproteins. They are required to carry out different functions in our body. Selenoproteins are involved in DNA synthesis. They are also required for protection against cell damage and infections. They are required to keep our muscles healthy and our immune system stronger. For a healthy thyroid gland, selenium and selenoproteins are required. Highest amount of selenium is present in the thyroid gland. Thyroid gland is a butterfly-shaped gland present in the neck region. Selenoproteins help in the metabolism of thyroid hormones. Thyroxine and triodothyronine are the two main thyroid hormones. Thyroxine is also known as T4 and triodothyronine is known as T3. Selenoproteins help in converting inactive T4 to active T3. These hormones are essential for growth, metabolism and development. Selenium is beneficial for people with autoimmune thyroiditis. It is a condition in which our immune system attacks the thyroid gland. Selenium is vital for brain function. It helps in motor function, coordination, memory and cognition. Development of sperms and production of testosterone requires selenium. It reduces the risk of cancer and heart diseases as well. Selenium also acts as an antioxidant. Antioxidants are substances that protect our body from damage by free radicals. Free radicals are substances that are naturally produced in our body. They become harmful only when they are excessive. Let us now look at the conditions associated with selenium deficiency. Cation disease occurs in children with selenium deficiency. In this condition, the heart is enlarged and functions poorly. Cashenbeck disease is a disorder of bones and joints. It is seen in adolescents and children with deficiency. Increase in infertility in men and prostate cancer are also seen. I will now tell you the symptoms of selenium deficiency. Depressed mood, anxiety, confusion and muscle weakness are some of the symptoms. Selenium deficiency can increase the risk for certain conditions. Selenium and iodine deficiency together increases the risk of thyroid disease. Hypothyroidism is also associated with selenium deficiency. It is a condition in which production of thyroid hormone is low. Deficiency increases the risk of cancer, Alzheimer's and heart disease. Let us look at the groups that are at risk of deficiency. People having HIV, people undergoing dialysis, people living in regions where the soil lacks selenium. I will now tell you the recommended intake of selenium. Recommended dietary intake of selenium per day differs for different age groups. 1 to 3 years old require 20 micrograms. For 4 to 8 years old, it is 30 micrograms. 9 to 13 year olds require 40 micrograms. 14 to 18 year olds require 55 micrograms. 
Adults require 55 micrograms. Pregnant women require 60 micrograms. Lactating mothers require 70 micrograms. To meet these requirements, it is advised to include selenium-rich food. Let us look at the food sources of selenium. Chicken, chicken liver, eggs, fish and shellfish are good sources. Goat meat, goat liver and goat kidney are also excellent sources. Grains, pulses and seeds also have selenium. It is also present in a few green leafy vegetables. We will now see the amount of selenium present in different food items. Please note that the amount of selenium mentioned is for raw food items. One egg has around 40 micrograms of selenium. 100 grams of crab has around 71 micrograms. 100 grams or Two small pieces of mackerel has approximately 64 micrograms. 100 grams or two goat kidneys has about 142 micrograms. 100 grams or two chicken liver has around 46 micrograms. 100 grams or four small pieces of chicken has nearly 20 micrograms. 30 grams or 2 tablespoons of split green gram with skin has about 15 micrograms. 30 grams or 2 tablespoons of dried peas have nearly 15 micrograms. 30 grams or 2.5 tablespoons of little millet has around 12 micrograms. 30 grams or 2 tablespoons of wheat has approximately 14 micrograms. 10 grams or 1 tablespoon of garden cress seeds have nearly 5 micrograms. 10 grams or 1 tablespoon of sesame seeds have about 3 micrograms. 10 grams or 1 tablespoon of niger seeds have around 4 micrograms. 100 grams of agathi leaves have around 30 micrograms. 100 grams of amaranth leaves have approximately 21 micrograms. Include these foods in your daily diet for good health. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thanks for joining.